Hey everybody, it's Logan here from Red Bandana Gaming, and today we are going to do something a bit different. I know I keep saying that because a lot of our videos are new, uh, it's not something that we had normally done for the last few months, but um, I decided after a, I would guess a impromptu trip to Orlando this weekend, I, I know as you guys pay attention to our uh, Instagram, we tend to go there quite a bit. But this weekend, we headed up there, uh, my wife and I, uh, you, you've seen her in a number of the, the, the photos and the, the Facebook and whatnot, we decided to take a trip up to um, Disney World, of course. And every time we go up there, we usually go to a couple of retro game stores in Central Florida. I love them. Uh, every time I go up there, I always have to check. There's three that we hit uh, this time, and uh, we actually got... No, we actually stopped at uh, four this time. One on the way up in uh, Port St. Lucie, if you guys are not familiar with it. It's like the halfway point between South Florida where we live. Talk about the Miami, Fort Lauderdale area and um, Orlando. So it's it's about the, the halfway point. Usually around the Port St. Lucie, Fort Pierce area is what people usually know it as. But we stopped there on the way up, um, avoided a nasty storm on the way. Uh, and then we headed to Orlando and then on the next day, that would be Friday and on the next day, uh, Saturday, we hit uh, the other stores and then uh, two stores. And then on the way back on Sunday, we hit the fourth. So um, as we were driving back, I was like, man, we got a lot of stuff this time. Normally we don't do that, but uh, I happened to go through... Uh, a list that, of things that I was looking for uh, a few weeks back and lo and behold these stores had so much of what I have been eyeing and even she found a number of games uh, for the Switch and for the original NES, NES games that she played when she was young and she loved them and we haven't uh, been able to come across them. I know they're not fancy titles, uh, you'll see them in just a moment, but um, yeah we picked those up, picked up some N64 goodies, ooh the N64 goodies. Uh, plenty of Switch games, a lot of interesting games. Some people might go, Ooh, really? Uh, I'll get to those later. And uh, some GameCube and uh, Xbox 360 and original Xbox games, as well as uh, one very nice Genesis game. It uh, does need a little bit of cleaning up, but you'll see what that baby is in, a, uh, in just a few moments. And uh, when I came back, uh, I know it really wasn't part of the weekend, but the day I came back, I did happen to pick up something fantastic, which was a uh, Japanese inbox Super Famicom. Uh, I'll make that in a, another video because this one's just about the games. Uh, but uh, I, I will show you the uh, that pickup uh, in the next set of videos, as well as uh, an adapter, which I, I'm actually going to put into this video just because we picked it up and I'll mention the store. Um, a, a, a Famicom to uh, NES adapter so I can play my Famicom games on the Retron as well. But um, enough of me blabbering on about what we did, a little bit of backstory. Let's take a look at the games. All right, so now that the introductions are done, let's get started. Let's get straight into, let's say, let's start with the NES games. The NES games that uh, we tend to... Uh, <laughs> to lean for are ones that we either really wanted or played when uh, either of us were young, and that's what happened this weekend. Personally, the, this first one is one that I didn't realize I didn't have, and I definitely wanted it, and that would be the original Metal Gear. Uh, <laughs> I have Metal Gear 2, I guess, just Snake's Revenge. I have that, and I went to go play this one, and I was like, wait, I don't have this game. Why don't I have this game? So I've actually been looking for it for a little while, and I, I noticed it spiked in price. It was about twenty bucks, and I was like, "That's a bit much." And I walk into this uh, uh into the store. Uh, it was uh, on Sunday. It's uh, called Gamers Inc. Uh, and that's in the, if I'm not mistaken, the Winter Park uh area in, in Orlando. And I asked them, and they were like, "You know what? We just got it in." And I was like, "It's meant to be." So I picked that up was really excited to get that one uh next one were well you can kind of see we'll we'll go with these two right away mlb 
and bases loaded. I'm not really a big sports fan, but growing up, I've always loved baseball. So I originally had uh, baseball for NES, which <laughs> I do now. And I was like, hey, you know what? I never picked these up. So what the heck? I think I got them for about $3 a piece, 2 or $3 a piece. I said, sure, let's go ahead. And then for the final one, I only picked up four NES ones. So for the final one, Karate Kid. I've never played it myself, but my wife uh, was like, hey, did you ever play this? Uh, this is where you can uh, catch the fly with the chopsticks. I was like, no, I, I never played it. I watched the movies when I was young, but no, I, I never played it. So she was like, oh, let's get this one. Sure, no problem. So these were the four that we got. These three came from a store uh, called uh, Cybertron Video Games. So great stores, both of them, love them. Got some great stuff there. So with the NES, that would be those four for the pickup. Let's scoot these out of the way. And hey, let's go with a little gem I'm going to start right away. Now, this one has an interesting story. We actually stopped uh, in Port St. Lucie. We stopped at uh, one of the retro game stores, which I'll get to in a minute. But this game did not come from that retro game store. We stopped at uh, a couple of random comic book sh uh, shops that we have never been to, but we like going to comic book stores. Uh, but <laughs> who doesn't? If you're watching this uh, channel, I'm sure you enjoy uh, going to comic book stores, too. So, um, we, we bought a number of... Uh, harley and flash stuff for her i didn't really find anything i wanted and then i was speaking to the guy he's like oh wait video games that's what you're into because he asked me a couple questions and i said sure uh he owned the comic book store and the 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 card store which was a, a gaming store magic and Yu-Gi-Oh and pokemon stuff next door and board games and he's like i got these showed me a couple of uh genesis games and uh most of them were sports and i was like yeah and then that one that beautiful thing, amazing game, right there. Shining Force 2. The only issue is, uh, he gave it to me for free because of the condition of the cart. If you look, that's very, very dirty. The bottom's fine, but the top is very dirty. Uh, I haven't yet tested it out. I'm going to test it out if it doesn't work. Of course, I'm going to clean it first, and I might have to open it and... Uh, check and um, do all that other good stuff to it hopefully i can get it to work this was one of my favorite genesis games i never owned a genesis when i was a kid but i did play it later on uh, other consoles and whatnot when it came out on uh, the dreamcast and i had um that i think it was called the sega smash pack when i had that fantastic loved it i was happy to get my hands on it and he gave it to me for free just because of how bad of condition it was but hey we'll, we'll see how it goes from there Ooh, loving it oh so great Alrighty, so next let's go to the Nintendo 64. I know you can see something a little right out of frame right there and you're like, oh, is that what I think it is? We'll get to that in a moment. So going from a couple of the other stores, again, from the, these are all from, yeah, these are all from Cybertron. I've got something that I had when I was young but never had this version of the cart. It's the gold ocarina of time you know um i never was able to to get my hands on a gold one my mom took me to get this when i was young for when it came out but i couldn't have it until christmas so we went in hopefully we could get the uh the gold cart we were at walmart and uh they they were all out so i ended up getting the regular one wanted to get my hands on this one and you know, it's in fantastic condition. A little, few little scratches, a little um, wear on the label, but I've not seen a gold cart in that good of condition in a very, very long time. Next one is ES Equal. Woo! Yes, fantastic. Majora's Mask Gold Cart with the uh, lenticular label. This one I did have when I was young. But I never finished it. This one has always been very expensive for me to find, especially in it's near mint, really fantastic condition. Um, 
really been able, really been hard to find, but I, I decided to pick it up and both of them were less than 50 bucks a piece. And some people are saying that's a lot. Some people are saying, wow, that's a steal. I guess it depends on where you are and where you buy them. Next one, this one, in my opinion, was a major, major steal. I've been looking for this one. I picked it up recently on PlayStation. For those of you who follow us on Instagram, you might have a little idea what this is, but here we go. Gauntlet Legends. Gauntlet Legends I got for $24 there. I have not been able to find it anywhere for less than 50 some 60 some 70 depending on the sites, depending on the store. But I was, you know, excited like just stoked to get that and it's in great condition um <laughs> nothing wrong with the card at all i mean it's just it's just beautiful so um all these still i haven't played but the store says they test them all and everything and everything i usually buy from there is uh pretty good i don't think i've had any problems with any of the games um so the next game i picked up would be just one i don't have armorines never played it when i was young but I got it for five bucks and I was like, hey, you know what? Might as well. Um, maybe I'll do a video on it, play it later. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, probably, probably play it. If you guys have any uh, opinions or thoughts or know anything uh, about the game, since like I said, I never played it. Uh, I just thought it looked uh, pretty cool. I remember, if I'm not mistaken, it ran off a uh, early Turok engine, I guess. But whatever let me know what you guys think if i should do a video on it hey what the heck i might next one uh a game i rented uh from blockbuster back in the day automobile lamborghini um not a expensive title not a rare title but i was like hey i don't have it in the collection let's throw it in the collection and now we'll go to Ones that I actually got a box for. They sold me this with the box. I never had pilot wings when I was younger. Oh, there's the, the receipt for it. Still there. I'm glad that's where he put it. But, yeah. Uh, I don't like the fact that they put their sticker on it. But it seems to be in very good condition. So I was like, sure. And I got it for half price for buying two of the accessories that you'll see later on in the video. Uh, so I ended up getting this for six dollars next this i got from cybertron not the case this i already had because i had the japanese version of it so i finally decided to pick up the english version again another six dollar title and i was happy with it so now i can be one step closer to having the full u.s release of uh, nintendo 64 titles and that is what i'm trying to do by the end of 2019 hit at least half of the North American titles. And this definitely helped. I ended up picking up, what, seven titles here? Fantastic. So, after these, let us stack them up. Nice. There we go. There we go. So, I know people who are watching this are still like, oh, I want to see that Dreamcast game. But no. I picked up this little baby right here. Dinotopia for the Game Boy Advance. I remember playing it back in the day. I had a, the GameCube version. I'm a huge, you know, dinosaur nut, as you can see. But that's from something else. For those of you who are eagle-eyed and know what it is, I'll drop a comment down below and tell me what you think it is. But, yeah, I picked this up, got it for $3. And I didn't notice that was on the back. I'm not sure where that's from. But, hey. So, ooh, it's gone up for, in a do for a dollar. Ooh. But yeah, pick that up. Um, I know it's not a great game or anything fantastic, but I love dinosaurs and I really like Dinotopia. So that was the only Game Boy Advance game I got. So let's go on to the one that people have been eyeing here. And we all know Virtual On. For those of you who had a, um, a Dreamcast, this was a great game. I, I love mech battling games. It's a fantastic game. A number of uh, versions were re-released later on but um this was my favorite i think I, I think it came out on 360 and i had the digital version of that for the xbox live arcade whichever version of uh, virtual on that was i can't remember at the moment but yeah this game fantastic and it's in very good condition still has the book let me zoom out a little for you 
Zoom out. No. Zoom out. Come on. There we go. So, as you can see, very good condition. Still has the book. Fantastic. Disc. Fantastic condition. Any of the streaks that you see are just reflections. Hey. hey. So, there you go. Fantastic. Can't wait to pop this into my Dreamcast and give it a whirl once again for all time's sake. Now, before we get to some of the newer stuff, I'm going to show one accessory. 60 to 70 pin adapter for Famicom to SNES. I mainly got this to work with my Retron. It is made by Hyperkin as well. So, has that little thing to pull that sucker out right there. As you can see, Famicom goes right there. That pops into down top, FC, NES. If you have a top loader, it'll work. Otherwise, it's designed for the, like I said, the top loader and the uh, Retron HD. So using this, I'll actually be able to, whoops, sorry about that. Oh, my camera work could be better. Um, Going to use this to stream some Famicom games that I picked up a while ago that I never really got to play, but one being um, a Gomon title for the NES and really looking forward to that. So this beautiful $12.95, if I'm not mistaken, definitely worth every penny and then help look forward to videos coming sooner. Now, um, let's stick with the, the accessory theme and go with Booga! And Booga! Ended up picking up two, the uh, Tribute 64. They're the retro bit take on the Horibad which is fantastic. Some people don't like it because of the weird positioning of the, the D-pad. I think it's just great. It looks great. It feels great. I have the red one posted that on a Instagram uh, before. Not sure if I put it up on the, on the Facebook page, but the red one's up there. So I picked up the clear blue and the clear green. It's funny because I went to Gamers Inc. This is where I got these um, just to pick up the green because I knew they had the, the, the green before. So when I walked in, they had the blue. I was like, oh, I'm just going to, okay, let me just get the blue. But I really want the green. But I want the blue. But I really want the green. But I want the blue. So I just said, screw it. They're 25 bucks a piece. They're not expensive, as you can see. Pretty inexpensive. And uh, that store, the, the people are really nice. They always have the product that I'm looking for. And hey, you know what? It's not them. I'll get it online. But they've always taken care of me. And things have been great over there. So I got those two. Now let's move on to some more uh, Nintendo goodies. We'll start with some Zegencube games. Starting with Prince of Persia Warrior Within. Some people complained about this, said it was too heavy on the rock, too dark. Yeah, I loved it. If uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it had, uh, was it? Godsmack or Papa Roach? One of the two. I, I'd have to play it. It's been such a long time. If you guys remember, pop, uh, drop it in the comments. Let me know. If not, I'll do a, a, a little update I'll, in the tag once I remember what the what the song was. Next one was another fantastic great when EA didn't do what they do nowadays. SSX Tricky. Love this game. Me and my friends since 1080 Snowboard, snowboarding for the N64, this was the second greatest one. Uh, and especially with the Run DMC Tricky Song, fantastic. And then, can't go without getting a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Of course, Mutant Melee. That was the, I, I guess it would be like the Smash Brothers uh, version of the Turtles game. Fantastic. I loved it. I love this 2003 series. Uh, if you haven't seen by our Turtle Tuesday videos, uh, we've done a number of those. And this one will definitely be on an upcoming episode of uh, Turtle Tuesdays. Next, we're going to go with one original Xbox game. Yeah, I know their price is still on there. I haven't been able to take it off. i got to get the good stuff to take it off. But Second Sight. Second Sight I decided to pick up because after watching a few of the, uh, who was it, uh, What Culture uh, gaming videos, and you guys are great just putting it out there, not trying to do a shameless plug. I like you guys. Uh, like you guys a lot. Oh, uh, saw Second Sight, and I was like, man, I never got to play it. And, you know, Free Radicals, a fantastic, fantastic developer. Too bad they don't really exist anymore. 
They were from the remnants of uh, Rare, who worked on uh, Goldeneye. They did uh, the Time Splitter series and Time Splitter's Future Perfect, one of my favorite online games for the original Xbox. So I decided to pick this up. I played its counterpart, uh, well, I shouldn't say counterpart, the game that had psychic abilities that came out at the same time, PsyOps, back when it came out, but I never played this one. So I found this, as you can see, $5 price tag. I had to. Comes, came complete, has the book, oh, free trial. Like, <laughs> Gamefly, like, that still exists. Does it? I don't know, but there we go. And then to the 360 games. These I'm not going to sit too much on because it's Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. Uh, I had these back in the day. I had them when they came out. Um, back when I would trade in games to get new ones, which, as you can see, I no longer do that. Um, I did, and now I really regret it. And this was the, you know, one of my favorite series. Uh, I do have a decal in my truck. I do plan on getting a Mass Effect N7 the original trilogy tattoo at some point in time, but Shepard's my boy, you know, I, I didn't really change him the way he looked too much because at the time I kind of resembled him. Um, so I, I left him, but this is one of my favorite franchises of all time. And, uh, definitely, definitely had to pick these back up and add them back to the collection. So now we're going to get to the, the meat and potatoes of this where all the great stuff. This is all the new stuff that's come out. On the way up, uh, I, I had uh, class. I got out of class, and I had to stop on the way, pick up Ultimate Alliance 3. Ultimate Alliance 3, everybody knows, brand new game, uh, big Marvel fan. Uh, we have videos on the channel of Ultimate Alliance 2. Definitely going to make one of this. Had to pick this one up. Couldn't say no, especially with it being a Switch exclusive. That is my title. One of my titles, actually, for the Switch. I only picked up two. Now, um, my wife likes decision making and horror and kind of creepy stuff. So we went, uh, I, I pointed out Bendy and the Ink Machine. So we picked that up. She's going to start playing it. And then we'll let you know what we think. I've never played it myself. My next one was Dead Cells. With uh, Dead Cells, uh, sorry, Dead Cells, I, I know it's a Metroidvania type game and I love those games. So I was like, hey, you know what? Uh, we saw it at. Uh, at a Walmart for dirt cheap and because now all their I guess all their games are below MSRP or something I had to pick it up and that's with a couple of these we we had just gotten back and we went to a a Walmart and I was like sure get what you want same thing with the next one Goosebumps you know hey read the books as a kid she wanted it she likes the horror she likes simple nothing too crazy Resident Evil scares her so hey why not next I don't know what it is. She pointed out it was $10 at uh, the Cybertron. So, happy birthdays. If anybody knows what it's about, let me know. She's like, oh, dinosaurs, let's get it. Sure. And speaking of Resident Evil, we picked up Origins Collection. Zero, a lot of people will, you know, eh, talk. But Zero was my favorite. She loved the remake. She had it on GameCube. So, hey, perfect. Next one, SNK Heroines. SNK Heroines, she knew I already picked up. I picked up a copy for myself, but it was $10 at uh, Cybertron as well. And uh, she won it because it's, it features its fighting game with all women. Cool, no problem. So at 10 bucks, <laughs> I know it's a great game. Said sure. Next one is Steins Gate. That actually got recommended to us at Cybertron by um, another customer saying it's a great game if you like... Uh, decision making and so hey she went with that so for the next one this was a interesting title i don't know too much about it it's called this war of mine uh it's the complete edition for switch i guess it uh came out on other platforms first um yeah if you guys know anything about it uh drop it in the comments again let me know but uh my wife was on uh, a reddit uh forum and uh she wanted to know a little more uh, about games that were, like I said, the decision-making adventure type, where, you know, not too much fighting. And this one was recommended on there. So we said, sure. Wasn't too expensive, so what the heck, might as well. Next one is going to be a very interesting one, but it's because she, she liked the previews for the movie, 
We haven't seen it, but she liked the previews, and she's a big fan of Fugglers, even though these aren't Fugglers. Yes, you heard me right. Fugglers. And that's Ugly Dolls. Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah. Um, okay, not a game I would have picked, but hey, cool. She wants it. <laughs> what could it be about? I don't know. It looks like mini games and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll see, and... I'll let you guys know later. But the final one to me is a fantastic game. That's the final game on this list. Final game of this video. Fantastic. 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 I can't... I, I can't say enough great things about this game. First time I watched it was watching a, a, a streamer uh, on Twitch who goes by um, Retro Gaijin stream it. And then I was like, wow, this is a fantastic game. He says one of his great favorite games. Never got it on PC, picked it up on the Switch Digital, and then in the same Reddit uh, post that she saw the recommendation for The War is Mine, she saw Undertale. I don't know why, but hey, cool. It's definitely not the same type, but it's a great, great game. It can be played many different ways, as most of you guys know. Fantastic game. Great music. Amazing story. So this is going to be the one I'm going to try to push her to play for, uh, to play first. Oh, excuse me. That's what happens when you start drinking some of these. Yeah, I know they're not good for me, but they're fantastic. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, fantastic games. Um, total of 32, 33, to have double check, um, double count in all. I think it was 33, I might be wrong. But yeah, fantastic amount of games, fantastic set, and um, it's not like something I could just take a picture and post it on Instagram didn't do it justice. So I figured I would make this video and um, show you guys everything that we picked up here, all the fantastic games, all the N64, Switch, Xbox, Play, no PlayStation. Wow, I didn't pick up a PlayStation game this go. Interesting. How about that? But hey... Thank you all for watching. Thank you for supporting us. Remember, if you want more Red Bandana Gaming content, head over to the website, redbandanagaming.com, and don't forget to check us out on social media, Facebook, Instagram. Soon we're hitting up a Twitter. Uh, I've never used it before. I know I'm old, 35, what can I say? <laughs> I'm uh, going to be starting that soon. And uh, look for more uh, videos from uh, myself and Lich in the coming future. And we might have a couple of new guests or a couple of new uh, Red Bandana Gaming members. Keep an eye out for that. But again, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button. It's probably somewhere down around here. Hit that. Uh, hit the little bell. Make sure you're one of the first to get the notifications on all these fantastic new videos coming out and if you want check one of the little videos over here if you uh, if you like this one take a look at one of those two if anything uh thank you thanks again so much thank you all for watching this video thank you for supporting us thank you for liking oh well, if you like like it if you don't hey you don't have to but thank you for making it this far into the video again like we always say here like logan myself must always make sure you guys are. Be legendary. Thanks again. <laughs>